Dan, welcome to the room. Uh, we're going to get started with questions from Chip Towers and then Mark Weiser. Okay, hey, come in here just a second. Had to get unmuted and uh, how you doing, Dan? Good. How are you doing? Uh, good. Uh, uh, Coach Smart, you know, told us that, uh, you know, you checked to that uh, punt block um, last week. Uh, I, I, if you feel like talking about it, I'll ask you why you weren't able to handle that ball on the back line. But uh, I'm really fascinated by that. You, know, you guys have had a few blocks this year. Just um, just tell me about that process, preparing uh, for the opportunity and then recognizing the opportunity and take it when it presents itself. Yes, sir. Well, uh, we had that look a couple times um, in practice, you know, and so that all obviously gave me the confidence to check it. And uh, yes, sir, like you said, I got to come up with that ball, obviously. And, uh, you know, might need to work a little more uh, recovery fumble drills. Um, yeah. Thanks. Jen, ha have you worked on recovery fumble drills since Saturday? And how much pride do you guys take in, you know, getting those blocks, whether it's punt or, or field goal or extra point or whatever. Yes, sir. I have. <laughs> I, I sure have. And, uh, you know, we take a lot of pride in that. Every special teams unit here, um, you know, whether field goal and over pump block. And obviously we got, you know, some incredible talent for the field goal block as well. And, um, you know, that's a, that's a big factor in our game. Let's go to uh, Parma Toms and then Jack Duffy. Yeah, Dan, Coach Smart told us that guys like Dom and George have been practicing with the scout team this week. Uh, you know, what have you seen from them as, as they're making their way back from injury? Uh, and, and how have they been able to help you all give a good look? Yeah, seeing both Dom and George out, I mean, on, on the field reminds me of how, how incredible they are. You know, they're great players. And, uh, you know, I, I, feel, I feel blessed to, you know, go up and get some, you know, every day. And, uh, you know, they're getting back in the swing of thing, and, and it's really exciting to watch, um, especially, you know, for me and, and all the other DBs to go against, you know, that, that talent. It's, it's, we need it, and uh, we're glad to have it for sure. Hey, Dan, uh, you know, your story, your walk-on story has been inspiring a lot of athletes, especially Luke Brown from your high school, uh, who, is, who he himself is trying to walk on. Uh, and he mentioned that he talked with you on Saturday. So I was wondering if y'all, y'all did speak and what was that conversation about? Yeah. I mean, Luke's the man. He, uh, he's a, I mean, a great kid, great, great football player. And, uh, you know, he's a good friend of mine. Um, yeah, we, we got to talk and, you know, we just, we just said how, you know, if you, if you want to do it, you know, just give it your best effort. And, uh, Luke's the kind of kid, he's always been a hard worker, uh, ever, ever since I've known him. So I, I mean, I know he, he would have the same attitude attitude towards things, um, you know, as I, as I have. But. Let's go to uh, Tyler Griffith and then Connor Riley. Hey, Dan, I know you play a very vital role in the special teams, but then I saw you came in at safety late and then uh, ended up leading the team in tackles last week. Is there any extra motivation when you do come in late and a big lead like that to just try to, you know, show up for the coaches and then play harder maybe? Um, yeah, for sure. Um, I would say, you know, anytime I get the chance to go in the game, uh, I'm going to give it my, hundred, you know, my all 100%. Um, you know, I, I try to pride myself, and the whole defense try to pride ourselves on, you know, swarming to the ball. Because um, you never know, you know, that extra effort could lead to a forced fumble, you know, whatever. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of guys that, that fly to the ball. So that's why we've been so successful this year, I believe. Hey, Dan, what kind of a leader is Nolan Smith and what is, from a leadership perspective, he really bring to this defense? Yeah, uh, Nolan's a definition of a leader, if you ask me. You know, he, he's always that guy, that guy, you know, amping people up. You know, he's, some people say, you know, he's, he's known for how loud he is. But, I mean, I, I think that's, that's important to have, especially on this defense and on special teams. And, uh, yeah, when, when I think of Nolan, I mean, I, I think of a leader, you know, automatically. Let's go to Jed May and then Ryan Curley. Dan, two questions. One, thoughts on the Dirty Dan nickname? And secondly, just what has it been like for you sort of growing into that role as kind of the quarterback of the punt return team? You know, you're the guy that's checking and, you know, recognizing that stuff, all that kind of stuff. Just what has it been like sort of embracing and, and growing into that role? 
<laughs> well, on the on the dirty land, on the dirty Dan look, you know that's that's something that uh, you know Stokes and and some of the other DBs uh, gave me. Uh, I guess this spring, and I've accepted it. Um, you know, I didn't know I was I was that bad looking, but uh, now nah, I'm, I'm going with it. And uh, and then on terms of the punt return, uh, you know, I, I I take great responsibility in that. Um, you know, I every time I step on the field, you know, I, I want to give the best opportunity for Kieras to return the ball. And um, you know, I I, I just want to work you know a lot harder for that for that unit because. It's, I mean, obviously really important and, um, you know, and anybody on that, on that unit has a great responsibility. So, uh, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a big deal and, uh, I just want to keep working at it. Dan, did you go to North Hall? I did. Yeah, I went to White County. I was just, I was just throwing it out there. Uh, <laughs> do you, is special teams – you know, being on, on the pump block and everything, is that a way that you earned more playing time or has that kind of been a reward for you? Um, in terms of special teams, I, uh, I think I earned it. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but, uh, you know, I, I just, tr- I want to be on, you know, as many special teams than I, as I can. And, uh, you know, with me being on that unit, I think I obviously need to give it my all. Um, and, uh, yeah, in terms of I don't I don't know if it was a a reward, but uh, you know I, I want to keep giving it my all for sure. We still got a couple minutes left with Dan. If anybody has a follow up question, okay, hearing none, uh, Dan. Thanks for your time tonight, and uh, we'll see you soon. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll see you next time.